suppose we must touch on play of the tournament, which is going to be announced on Friday. Three Irishmen, three Frenchmen, Galen Doris, Hugo Keenan. Who else have we got there? We've got uh, Thomas Ramos, Damien Pinot, Anton Dupont, and finally, Mac Hansen. You know, six quality players to say the obvious. Which way are we going? Or what do you make of that? In total, the six that are nominated, plenty left out. Andrew Porter to name one. I'm sure there's plenty others you can think of. But what do you think on Friday? Which way will it go? Um, it's hard to know. I think um, it's hard. To, and it's also hard to kind of go against DuPont. He won it in 2020 and 22. Um, he's just an extraordinary player. The, the, and all the way through this tournament, he's coming up with big moments. He's involved. His involvements are, are continuously unbelievably positive. Even in their loss to 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 Ireland in Dublin, um, he was the one continuously making line breaks, bringing other players into the game, keeping France in the game. Um, the game wasn't secure, I suppose, until until Gary Ringrose gets that try late on. Um, it was a wonderful game, as Matt said. Everybody is um, lauded that game for the quality of rugby, the attack, and the excitement throughout. Um, he was phenomenal in England, in Twickenham, um, and again at the weekend against Wales. The pass for Damien Penno, um, the support play. So it's very, very difficult, even though they haven't won the tournament, to go against Dupont because I just think he's. His contributions are freakish at times. It's just hard to believe that this guy can come up with this kind of um, excitement and quality so often. Um, if you look at, you know, Pano has obviously finished and scored a lot of tries in the tournament and Ramos has been really good as well. Um, and if you look at the Irish players, then, you know, Mac Hansen, Keenan and Doris, um, high level throughout the whole tournament. So I think they're... There might be slightly behind Dupont. Um, if you're picking, and and it doesn't, player of the tournament doesn't have to necessarily come from the team that won won the championship. Well, I'd love if it was one of the Irish guys. I think all three, in Hansen, um, um, uh, Doris and Keenan have been absolutely fantastic. They've been so good in every game they've played. Um, Saturday, even the first half again, Hugo Keenan sublime. Um, so. Doris went off in Scot against uh, against Scotland early, but early in the championship he was sensational. You know he was unplayable, so um, they've been brilliant. And Hansen, just uh, the quality and the the continuous him as a ball player. You know he's just a wonderful footballer. So I don't know. Um, I'm just making the point that it's really difficult not to give it to Dupont. It might it might sway towards some of the Irish. Uh, one of the Irish guys. Um, it's hard to even separate them. So, you know, it's 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 a really difficult one. To, but um, I don't know what you think, Matt. I just think some of the stuff that Dupont has done in in this tournament again, it just he yeah. just keeps going and going and going. He, he's on uh, the next ten years. He's going to win everything. So, yeah, I think they, they, just giving us your answer. Yeah, they they should you know just get go to the engraver and get a. a you know, a bulk deal and just engrave his name on it for the next ten years. Like he's, like he, as Stewie, we were saying, he's he's like it's like the under eights where you've got a big kid who's just bigger than everyone dominates the game. Like this is this is the international game, and Dupont is just doing things that are just you just look at it and go, how does he do that? Like that that and and no greater example than when Mac Hansen looks like he's going to score a try. In that corner at the Aviva, the right hand corner at the Aviva, or uh, left hand corner, sorry, the Aviva, as we look at it, the Havelock. And, and the little, the, he's this little guy, DuPont, and he has this incredible strength. And he literally holds Mac Hansen up, like, it, like in a wrong hole, like a, a reverse bear hug, and pulls him backwards, where Mac had, is a strong guy himself, had all the, the opportunity. I don't know if you saw the shots of him swapping jerseys there the other day at, at uh, Stade de France. He took his jersey off to swap. I mean, the physique on the guy is just staggering. Like he's he, he's like a he's like a bodybuilder. Like if he's like a mini uh, WWE guy, you know, like he's just this wrestler's physique on him. He can kick both feet. Like against against uh, uh, England at Twickenham, he chips over the top of the outside of his right foot, regathers, runs another fifteen meters, then kicks off the toe of his left foot on the run, and the ball stops ten centimeters from the English try line. 
Well, there's nothing the guy can't do. He steps to his right at one stage against England. So the whole England attack does right, comes back onto his left, does a 50-22. France get the line out in the corner, score, ultimately score off that line out. Like, it's not fair what he's doing. And and I agree with Alan. In, in the game against Ireland, how could you not give man of the match to Doris? How could you not give it to DuPont? You know, there, there was just, if you gave it to DuPont, you say, well, why wouldn't you give it to Doris? And if you gave it to Doris, you say, well, why didn't you give it to DuPont? The, the, it, every game, the guy is just phenomenal. Um, I, I think there is one thing that the the people that are, uh, the, or the committee that are nominating, you know, World Player of the Year and Six Nations, they've got to start looking at the tight five. I think this is really wrong. They're, that they're not, they're not recognising the excellence of tight five play. Now, the tight five aren't going to score and be in the in the open like the back three and the back row are. But there has been such good excellence from our tight five across across all um, uh, teams. But we've got to recognise that and recognise that it's going to be different. Like how Andrew Andrew Porter needs to be in that group. He has been staggering. I, I, I just don't believe Ireland win the Six Nations without Andrew Porter's contribution to that to that. Uh, 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 to the to the to the win to the performances, but we've got to recognise that the tight five are not going to be doing those things that we're seeing Dupont and these guys do. So sure, we should re- we should uh, put Dupont up, and I I believe he should win it. But we've got to we've got to be recognising our tight five. Uh, otherwise, we're we're really neglecting aspects of our game that need to be rewarded. And when you get a tight five player like Porter, who has put in the performance that Porter's put in, he deserves to be in that group. Um, and I, I think that's a, it's an injustice for him. But you, you couldn't argue with any of these guys getting it, except Dupont is ridiculously in front of everyone, and that's 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 and what a joy for Fabian Galtier, and what a joy for us all to see. I I, I text a couple of guys who I respect about Dupont, and I said, "Is this guy the best I've seen? Am I am I, am I wrong?" And they came back with a list of other great nines and you'd have to say that along with gareth edwards and uh juice van west Tuzen and and uh, Dave, you know you've got to go back to david kirk who lifted the first world cup greg and nick far jones uh you know even even faf de Klerk is playing at the moment dupont is in the conversation of the best nine that's ever been but busy all these guys he's he's at the beginning of his career but he's already in that conversation uh, of an all-time great 